Perché venite al più grande campeggio del mondo per due settimane? Perché, perché c'è una misteriosa storia Ah, in realtà mi sarei aspettato un perché ci vogliamo tutti bene e una cosa tipo why cats? Hi guys, first of all, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. My first question is for you, Giulia. Ashley, in the second season, she kind of had a boost of confidence with the leading role and a relationship. But I feel in the second season, she's, um, she's struggling to understand who she is, which is her place in the world. I want to ask you if you ever felt like her and if you could be her friend, what advice would you give her to overcome wow. these difficulties? Wow. I think even in Ashlyn's most difficult moments of self-doubt, I think she is still the friend that gives advice. So I feel like no matter what she's going through, I would still be the one asking her for advice. <laughs> um, but yeah, I definitely, I met, I mean, we all went through the, you know, those 10th and 11th grade years are all about finding yourself and, and finding your place in the world and seeing what, what sparks your truest self and your love and your interests. And so um, it's been really amazing getting to navigate that storyline because um, it, you know, it hits so close to home and it hits close to home for a lot of people watching as well. I'm going to concentrate on the provini at the moment. What are the two parts of the principal parts of Frozen? One is called, I say, Gary. No, it's not called Gary. You won't do the Zac Efron of the provini this time. Frankie, first of all, I laughed a lot when I heard Carlos saying to Ricky that he couldn't Zephron his way in Chelsea. <laughs> um, I feel that he is always so focused and even over prepared for everything, but he didn't have really his time to shine and or at least in the way that he hoped he can he can do it. Uh, what do you think is the main struggles in, in this season and what he has to overcome? I think we really kind of see his comfortability kind of rattled. Um, he's, you know, in the first two seasons, we kind of saw him coming into his place at East High. And so now we're having to, now he's kind of having to start all over with a new group of people and kind of trying to find his place to really shine through. Um, so yeah, we kind of just see him just not struggle, but kind of trying to find his footing with a new group of people. Devo raccogliere telefoni, snack e congegni elettronici. Dai, è solo per due settimane. Ma Sasha non l'ho detto. Sasha è il tuo telefono. For the first time you are far away from his side, you have a new group of people. I wanted to ask you, in your opinion, among the cast, who is the most camp friendly, who can survive more easily on camp, on a camp? Oh, that's a good question. I don't know. Something about Sailor Bell Curta. She stepped into <laughs> camp and really owned that space. And I don't know if it's because she's been outdoorsy in her past life or she's just good at adapting to any environment she's in. But um, she was always such a fun hang around camp. She always knew how to have a good time there. Yeah. I would say... If like I'm gonna be stranded on a camp, I I'm either gonna pick Julia or Matt. I feel like they're the most outdoorsy and they would know like where to go or like what to do if you see a bear. So I'm definitely gonna go with those two. <laughs> I do watch a lot of Survivor, so I might have some tidbits there you go. to yeah, maybe you have some skills yeah. that you can <laughs> Yeah, I maybe a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Estate Camposcello Lake è stato selezionato per una specialissima opportunità e a raccontarvi tutto Mr. Corbin Blow! Ragazzi, questo sarà il primo campo a mettere in scena Frozen. Of course you get the opportunity to work with uh, Corbin Blue. I want to ask you how was working with him and having him on set like the original Ice Cream Musical cast. I mean, it's it's pretty incredible. I mean, like my like younger brain probably would have exploded if you like told me this piece of information but um to have an OG on set and just to see him work and just be so gracious and kind and like it, he will answer all of your annoying questions you have about the original franchise <laughs> so thank you Corbin um no but it was such an awesome experience yeah he's he's a real uh hardworking, extreme professional who inspired all of us on set. And he's such a gracious person. He knew everybody's name and everybody's position and uh, was so eager and interested to talk to us and learn about us. And um, yeah, it's always, you know, such a gift when we get an OG on set. It's really, really cool. If it was just up to you for your characters, what do you 
dream for their future? What do you dream they learn? Or maybe what can be the next step for them? So it's just up to you. I would like to see what Carlos's dreams and ambitions are after East High. And so like, does that include college? Does that include like going straight to New York and trying to be on Broadway? Um, So that's something that I am curious about. Uh, I think that in in season two, we got a really um, interesting glimpse into Ashlyn's discovery for her love for musical theater. But something that she really is at her core is uh, she's a singer songwriter. And that's also been a really fun storyline to have bubbling underneath all of her new interests and loves. And so whenever we get to revisit that core truth to Ashlyn is, is really exciting. So I hope we get to explore that more in the future. Thank you, guys. My time is up. It was very nice talking to you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. By the way, I love your outfit. They're right. so cute. And they're great. great to know. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Hey, Alora. La posta in gioco non è mai stata così alta. Alzi la mano. Chi tra voi la pensa come me?